going on on the ship. First, let me show you where we are. We're in the Mediterranean. Last night, we passed through the Straits of Sicily, and we're proceeding down through the Med, and we're going to go down here to the Suez Canal and transit the canal next week. Why don't we go down below, and we'll finish the opening here, and then let you see some of the ship. very busy since the 26th of September. We participated in a lot of exercises with the other battle group ships, with the aircraft carrier Eisenhower, as well as the air wing. We participated in a war at sea with the outchopping battle group from an exercise in northern Europe. That itself was a very hectic couple of days. We've been practicing our firefighting and our damage control and trying to take care of all the things that will take care of us once we get to the Arabian Gulf. Lots of little things to make the ship ready, engineering-wise, as well as combat systems-wise. It's been a 24-hour-a-day effort ever since we left. Most of the guys are in three sections. Some are even in port and starboard watch rotation. And everybody's starting to get a little tired, but we're working into a routine in the hopes of uh, making the ship fully ready for when we get to the Gulf. Last week, we also had the engineering material assessment team, which came on board and put us through a number of engineering drills. The guys did very well. They did very well. They assessed our firefighting capability as well as our casualty control capability as well as the shape of our engineering plan. This in itself is a progression to prepare for the oppie that we'll have in October 92. The EMAT will come back on board again in March and do the same thing and let us know where we need additional work and improvement. We've had a couple of babies born so far and if you've listened to the recorder messages, uh, you know who they are. You may very well have received a telephone call already on our new Mars installation, the military radio system where we call ham operators and they patch us through on telephone lines uh, to our families at home. And that's been going very well so far. And we'll continue to do that for the crews as long as the conditions of MCON, as we call it, allow us to use the HF radio that does that. Right now, everybody is uh, it's very busy, and as I said, very tired. We certainly miss you all. We wish we were home with you. But I think you all understand, as we understand, uh, the importance of what we're doing over here and the vital area that we're headed to with respect to our national security and world stability and peace. Rest assured that your Elrod sailors are all doing their bit to make this a combat-ready ship so that we can make our contribution to our country and to the world. We love you. We miss you. From Maureen in particular, sweetheart, hello. Hope everything is fine at home. I look forward to hearing from you. I even wrote you two letters, which is uh, not like me. And I miss you and love you, sweetheart. All right, we're going to let you go out and about and uh, see some of the Elrod sailors at, we, at work. So God bless everybody, and uh, we'll talk to you in the next video. Yes, Kim, this is going to your wife. Yes? <laughs> cool. yes. Hi, hon. Now you'll fucking play that over the air, won't you? No, this is going home to support me. Cool. support group. Oh, good. Hey, write me a letter. I haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> Say hello, Randy. Hello. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs>
CCS. This is uh, only our what? 100. Uh, Shut up with the days. This is 100 watch. <laughs> yeah, we've been standing 105 hour watches so far. Yay. Same routine every day. This ain't going on the news. No, it's going on these park roads. Lee's not a Viking help, but it's not going on the news. Say hello, Mario. Hello, Say hello to your wife, Mario. I knew somebody was going to do that, yeah. Go on a support group. Say hello. Hello. Put the yellow thing on your ears. Put the yellow things on your ears. Not fungus. <laughs> Good thing. What are you doing? Video table. What? The ship, the crew, generalities. You don't watch the news? They're gonna send this home to the family. Paperwork confidential? Hope not. This is our shipboard pay station. College courses. Say hello, Doc. Yeah. Good evening. Well, good morning or afternoon or whenever you happen to be watching us. Having fun. This is our newly created and customized ship's library. TV advertising for you here, SH1. All the way back to Charleston, long distance. <laughs> I don't think so. Being ever so humble, this is be the biggest supermarket we'll see in the next six months. Strickland. Natural habitat. Today we're transiting the Suez Canal. Not far from shore. See what y'all are missing out here? Maybe we can hear him snoring. Fellas up there wide awake. Don't y'all feel secure while we're out here and he's doing this? Our Senior Chief of the Command, Timothy E. 
stricken. Most of my searches. Nancy, just take a look at your husband. No close up of that mug. Oh, I feel for you, darling. We love you. What are you doing? Just taking some candies, man, or what? Yeah, man. Send it home? Say something to Elizabeth. Hi, hon. How are you and Kimberly doing? Hope you're doing good. Uh, well, we're having a great time over here. Can't wait to get home, though. Love you. Hey, you know, a security watch. I got a large majority of the crew that wants me to get this picture of your wife with her husband at Disney World. Heard the captain has it. Excellent scenery. Yeah. This is what they're fighting for. This is what these Stupid people. Stupid sand. That's right. Jeez. Huh? They just don't want to live here. They'll fight to live here. Yeah. That's it. Well, they gotta be angry people. Huh? They're fighting over fighting over for sand. You got more sand than me. Sandy, look at this mug. Hey, Cindy, there's your new home. We were saying we was going to buy us another house. Well, guess what? They got really good rates on these. Okay? Now get ready to pack the stuff up. Which one do you want? This is the CSO's desk, which he never uses. T's desk, which looks like it's used. 
the SH's desk. We do all the paperwork here and the computers. MPA. You can tell he never uses this one. This is our PACE 2 classroom. The guys are enrolled in the PACE 2 program, college afloat education. They do uh, the courses and tests by computers. Do their study and come here and take tests. Put that thing away. This, but no, this is a support group. You better say something to mama. I'm camera shy. You better say something to mama. Hi, mama. How you doing? This is dispersing where all the money's kept. You want to see my safe? Where's your safe? Safe. I can Dispersing inside. Maybe a space of 10 by 10. Well, Disbo's going to show you a surprise here in a minute. Oh, mama. See? All right, here you go. Now, don't tell them about what we did, all right? <laughs> CHT shop. This is where they do all the metal work. Any shelving we need built, parts made. Announcer, Baldy Jones. <laughs> Hey, Vince, how you doing? Now we're hanging in there, having just a wonderful time. But we'll uh, see you soon. Take care. Love you. Give Katie a kiss for me. Bye-bye. And look who we found awake. The chief engineer. Pee-pee, how's it going? It's uh, Sunday afternoon, the 13th of uh, October. We're about three-quarters of the way from the Suez Canal. Fred and I are uh, splitting the time away from the uh, CCS 6 on 6 on go away? No, it's still on. It's still recording? How do you stop? You need the red button. CCS, Central Control Station, where they control the operation of the diesel generators for the electricity. The main engines for propulsion. And auxiliary systems like water. And, and here's Professor Sumner. What are you going to say to Mama? I love you. TJ, E.L. on watch. Okay. Eating his tortilla yeah. chips. Hi there. Right on the other side of the propulsion console is DC Central. Where they can monitor all the fire alarms, heat alarms, heat sensors, fire pumps on this console. Then you got a couple of low life people in here that don't have nothing to do. They won't even speak. I'm uh, that's it. This is the mess.
best text where everyone eats. And lounge as well. A couple of the air deck guys. A couple of the cooks. Hey, Whit, say something to Mama. I took him back right there. Chief Luzon eating a late lunch. Ooh, we can't do that on that mug. They also eat and lounge. Hey, Mom, how's it going? Hard at work. Please birthday cake made by MS1 Health. Look at me and smile, Fritz. Uh, Good job, Bob. Thank you. Yeah, One second. Yeah. Okay. Okay.
those of us that have done this for a lot of years, like the senior chief, I haven't done it for as many years as the senior chief because nobody is as old as him. <laughs> but the fact is, it's our profession. We don't have MD after our names. We don't have PhD after our names. We don't have attorney at law or esquire after our name. But we will all have USN or USN retired after our name. Those of us in that category and many of you. That is the profession that we have chosen. That's what we dedicated our life to. That's what has been our livelihood. It's what we devoted ourselves to. And for all of us, it's what's taken care of us, taking care of our families. Some days, not quite to the level of what we expected, but on other days, certainly better than the average Joe sitting at home. And you can't change that either. So the point is, being in the Navy has a place in every one of our lives. And while it might not be the cool thing to act that way, and when you're downtown Charleston, or in Topeka, or in anywhere in the United States, you might not want to strut around and show that off. But I bet a lot of you do anyway when you go home to visit mom and dad, but then you go on and have people make a little bit of a fuss of you. But the fact is, it is a part of you, and you are a part of it. So without going to Desron 6, Without going out to the rest of the battle group, without going out to the rest of the world, without going anywhere outside of the lifelines of USS Elrond, let's take a second to say, geez, I'm a part of this. It's been an okay experience. It's my profession, or it's been an experience in my life. It takes care of me, and it takes care of my family. It's had a proud tradition for 200 16 years, and as we enter our 217th year, it is the front line deployed force in the national security policy of our country. The formation that we're in, the battle group that we're in today, is how this country projects its power. It's how this country influences the rest of the world. It's how this country defends its honor and its reputation and its credibility. And we are all a part of it. We don't lose sight of that fact, whether we're doing engineering drills, we're trying to fire the guns, or the captain's beating on you because we're out of station by five degrees, or we're trying to land a helicopter, or whatever. When you put it all together, it's important. What you do is important. How many guys in your hometown open up the newspaper and look on the front page and say, geez, Today. The close to home experience when Chief Lewis and Lieutenant Morris went to conduct fifth training today. We healed them off and went to Marbury Ridge. They had no idea that they would actually board three merchants and conduct the boardings and the inspections, just like it says in Time magazine just like the Navy said they had to do, just like the President of the United States tasked the Navy to do, and just like the United Nations Security Council told us and the other free nations of the world to do. We're part of that. Don't lose sight of that. Whether it be for two years, four years, six years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, or 45 years. We're a part of that. Recognition of that, let's think about the mission of the Navy, the heritage we have, and let's celebrate it in the traditional way. But let's get the oldest crew member, MS-1, and the youngest crew member, Stephen Baker, come on up here to show the bond between the people that have been doing this for a long time and the new guys. And that we share part of being in this family. So we're going to ask him to cut the cake, and then we'll have our uh, special dinner. Thank you for the party.
uh, for the book. That's enough on that. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about where we're at now. We transited the Suez Canal uh, Saturday and Sunday. We're now over in the Red Sea. The uh, Suez Canal was it was a uh, sight for those that had never been through it. It was a lesson. It was like history ret retold. Uh, and a lot of the young the young people on board that had never uh, been outside the states is getting to see a getting to uh, see a lot of things they would never got to see unless they had been in the Navy. So it's it's all worth it for. Uh, we've got a lot uh, many more days and weeks ahead of us to go. But uh, with the Aussies' help standing behind us, giving us full support, we will make it with no problem. Uh, the ship's doing well, the crew's doing well, and we'll, uh, family and shipmates will get through this, this just fine. Uh, like I said, the deployment is going well. We are headed in the right direction and we'll soon be where we're going. We'll be sending a uh, tape of the canal transit. We have had, we've got a tape made, and uh, we've got a couple other things we want to put on it before we do send it to finish up the tape. We will get that off to you within the next uh, week, hopefully. And uh, I hope you're receiving the uh, family grams. I'm sending out one a week to uh, just like, keep you updated on what's going on. And, uh, where we stand so that you know what's going on at all times. Uh, so that will, that will continue going on. Uh, and uh, you know, if there's anything that we can, that I can help with out here or anything, uh, just get a hold of Marie Lewis. She knows how to get a hold of us and we will do our best to, do, to take care of any problems. Uh, as for everything is going fine, and uh, before we know it, the cruise will be over, and we'll be headed back under the Cooper River. Thank you, and that's it for the Super Chief Command. That's okay. Nancy, uh, I'd just like to tell you that I love you, I miss you, and uh, I've started getting mail, and I hope you've done the same thing. Uh, I appreciate you standing by me and understanding when we were getting ready to leave, that we were getting ready to deploy, that I couldn't spend the time with you that I really wanted to. And uh, I hope you know that I did want to spend the time with you. Uh, it was just that I had so much going on that I felt that present to make sure it did go on. So uh, I hope you understand and, and I did want to spend the time with you and I love you and we got many more years to come of loving and getting to each other and being with each other. I know this is after our, uh, our anniversary but Next year, maybe we can spend it together. And I know it's like a happy anniversary, and I love it. And I cherish the time that we spend together. And I appreciate you understanding that I have a lot of things. I had a lot of things going on during the fall period. And even though I couldn't spend the time with you, that I probably should have. Should have that I that I wanted to down deep in my heart, and I love you, and thank you for understanding and being understanding with me. That's it. Oh, okay. Hi, dear. Long time no see. Bet you didn't think you'd see me on a tape, but anyway. We haven't been doing much. I got your letter from Chief Lewis. Thank you for writing. 
Uh, I think I've sent you three so far, working on the fourth. Uh, we've been underway for a while. You've read everything I've had to tell you in the letters. And uh, actually, there's not much else to say besides I love you. Um, I miss you. things are going. Otherwise, not too bad. Uh, we're busy. I've been working a lot of late nights. And uh, other than that, not a whole lot. Uh, tell the kids I miss them. Hi, kids. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Melissa. Um, and hope to see them soon. I'll talk to them on the phone. I hope Melissa had a good birthday. And uh, I hope she likes her new bike. they're going to be for Halloween, and uh, I'll send them a little note when I think about writing it down so that I can, uh, so they don't feel left out, and uh, tell mom I said hi, tell dad I said hi, tell your mom and dad, Debbie and everybody I said hi.
Did you really feel it? I did. I told her it's worse than writing a letter talking into this lens. Really? <laughs> yeah, it's it is. tough, huh? Yeah, it is. It feels good, though, don't you? Yeah. Miss some teary eyes. Yeah. That's what you want to see, isn't it? No. Yeah. They're seeing it, though. <laughs> Yeah, I know I'm looking kind of bad and whatnot right now, but you know, I'm doing bad. I'm out here on this water. I'm missing the hell out of you. The only thing I got to say really is that, uh, why the hell I ain't got no letter right now? <laughs> I mean, I done had four mail calls and I ain't got a letter yet. I don't understand. I can tell you what I'm thinking about. You might like get a little upset. You know, I know you do, but I ain't thinking about that, brother. You're gonna do what you're gonna do with God. But, uh, how you doing anyway? Still floating around in the water, going in circles, the same old nothing. It'll be a long six months. Tell everybody I said what's up. Tell your grandma I said hello too. And I sent her, I sent her a hundred dollars. I hope you gave it to her. Tell her I said thanks a lot. I needed it very much. Uh, tell, uh, tell your uh, aunt that old Don said he ain't gonna write her. Let's see right him. He be waiting. She be waiting forever. If she thinks she get a letter from him. So she better go on and write it. She needs some love and pass it anyway. Uh, I ain't got too much to say. I miss the hell out of you, pretty ass. Hey, yeah, mom, how you doing? Uh, I'm out here trying to take care of me, so. That little deal they got going here, getting to talk with the
try at this. The other, the other two times we had a little bit of problems, so I'll try to remember everything I said the first two times, which really won't matter to you because you never heard of me. <laughs> um, let's see, what have we been doing? Oh, we've been keeping busy. Uh, starting this week, we're going to be doing a lot of drills and stuff, so we'll be even busier. But uh, I've been in the galley. I've worked a lot in the galley, just helping the guys out, you know, making and whatnot. And, uh, I tried to get up and call you the other day, but you weren't at home. You know, we're quite a few hours ahead of you, so the time difference is kind of hard to correlate when you're going to be home and when to call. But uh, we tried to call you on the bar system, and I'll, I'm going to try again, I think tonight, so they'll uh, do it. And then I uh, wrote you a couple letters. I hope you'll be getting those pretty soon. And hopefully I'll be able to watch the... Uh, Pennant's picnic that I think that you went to, I'm pretty sure that you probably were there. They told me to see you on the video, so I'm going to watch that this week when they play it. And, um, it's kind of hard to think of things to say sitting in front of this camera. we got people around you who are kind of self-conscious, but uh, I just tell you that I miss you a lot. And I miss the boys and Elisa. And I pray for you guys every night. Yeah, I hope you got that uh, pay thing that they, you know, when they didn't give you the money, I hope that they uh, got that straightened out for you. They sent a message off of the ship. So you should be getting your, uh, you know, regular pay now. Also, uh, I don't know what else I would say. Oh, I've been uh, reading a lot. I've been studying the Bible a lot, and uh, I'm on my third book, the uh, Zion Chronicles series. Uh, that's a good book. Sorry. I started, that's the first one I'm on. The other two are, you know, the uh, Winslow and... and the, <laughs> go ahead. Get people crawling around you. Uh, so I've been keeping busy. I don't know what else to tell you. I'll try and get another video off. i got a friend on the ship that's got a camera. So I'll, I'll try and get it set up where I can sit down and tell you some things where I have a little more time to think about what I'm going to say. It's kind of hard to, to see here in front of the camera without having to uh, notice. But I hope you're doing good. Like I said, I, I love you very much. I miss you. And I'll call you as soon as we get in court, whatever that will be. Still according to the schedule that we had before. And just take care. I'll talk to you later. I love you. Hi, baby. What's up? Daddy's been doing all right. Been trying to take care of myself and stay out of trouble. Missing you two like crazy. And it's, it's rough, you know, but uh, I'm, I'm trying to deal with it and stay in the word. Uh, I hope you and Anthony are doing okay. I miss you too dearly. It's only been a short while, but it seems like it's been forever, you know. 
short hand in Navy, but our nights are long. It seems like, you know, it's going to be forever before we come back home. But I'm just asking that you stay strong. And uh, if you need any help or anything, as far as, you know, just moral support, ask that you uh, get in contact with uh, Miss Lewis or Miss Farnsworth. Uh, they, they, they're the ones that sponsor this program right now. Um, should have the number. They they're affiliated with the ombudsman's office. And, uh, they they have you know quite a few things to help you out if you're, if you're really in great need of something, as far as babysitting or just you know someone to talk to. But um, right now I'm here to talk to you and um, Daddy misses you and I love you and I send my my love and my blessings through this message. I can't wait to be reunited with each other. I know that's probably one of the greatest moments that we ever encountered, is being back together. Uh, right now, it's kind of hard to speak what's on my mind and the way I feel, what's, what's really deeply in my heart. And uh, I hope you're doing the right thing. You know, I really, I really do. You know, I like for everything to work out, you know, for us. Tell Anthony that Daddy says be good and he better listen and obey you. If not, he's gonna have to deal with me when I come home. But I know I won't. We won't have to resolve to that because Anthony's a good child. I ask Anthony that he do, does school, does good in school, and uh, and just keep up the good work. Congratulations, Anthony, in school. I heard you made the top in your class. Daddy misses and also thanks for the for the little cartoon picture. Daddy appreciate that. He's Daddy's man. Um, we scheduled we should be in my rain by the 28th of October sometimes. We're scheduled to pull in. Um, I continue to write, send you whatever you need is what I'm capable of giving, you know. That you finish that school out, Mary. You know that would be a good, you know, that would be real good to your benefit to stick that school out. Let's do the right thing. Um, my time is short here. We only have five minutes, so I'm gonna keep it short. But if you need some help, contact Miss Miss Lewis or Miss Farnsworth. You should find a number in, in somewhere inside those. Uh, some of those pre-deployment briefs that I left with all that paperwork. But, uh, uh, well, I got a minute left. Well, a minute left. Well, okay, well, I'm going to have to get ready to cut it short, but uh, I continue to pray and stay strong. And um, I have a lot of plans for us. I, I'm still undecided whether I'm going to stay in or get out, but I'm uh, ask that you write me give me a few inputs on, you know, our lives together, you know, and what what will become of us, you know, in the future, you know. So just write me, stay strong, and give me your inputs on our future together, you know. Uh, being out here, it's tiresome and confusing. You know, it's a lot of work, long hours, constantly. But uh, with the help of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I know we will overcome. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you and our son, baby. Oh, I miss you a lot. Wish, you, wish I was back home. Wish I wasn't was in, that, in, in the middle of the Red Sea heading <laughs> for God knows where. Um, I hope you get this video videotape soon and get to see uh, see all of our smiling faces on it. As you can see, I'm not getting any grayer, I don't think. But I am uh, a little on the tired side most of the time. Uh, we've been working really hard. Uh, Chief West has been keeping us on and somewhat most of the time. And, uh, Chief Lewis. The, I'm talking about Chief 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 West. And uh, Chief Lewis has also. He's uh, Chief West been helping me with uh, set up some computers and stuff. And uh, Chief Lewis here, the man that uh, you, you guys from the business and uh, is doing this filming for us now. I love you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you. Take care and uh, see you soon.